Hey guys, what's happening? I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And today's meal is going to be up on the rooftop, the Sky Beer Garden. Incoming. Bang. Woo. It's bubbly. Oh, and cold. Oh, it's freezing my throat. The appetizers have arrived. Let's check it out. Edamame is a standard appetizer. It goes really good with beer. I like to call them Japanese peanuts. Bunnies. Of course, they're not peanuts. They're beans, but you eat them like peanuts. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. These are chilled. They're salted. But in the wintertime, when you eat them, they'll be hot. Look at this gorgeous salad. It's a 12 item salad. So there's this broccoli, we've got some lettuce, we got a tomato. What is that? Oh, I'm not sure. Yep, tomato, beets. Even the dressing is beautiful. So colorful. Let's get into it. All the food came at once. So we're gonna eat quick. Eat a duck and mouse. <laughs> it's a really tasty dressing. The dressing tastes more like a soup. It's so thick. I like these crispy rancons. Nice, crispy lettuce root. The broccoli, not my favorite. Oh, it's good though. It's boiled. That's a really good salad. Next up is the cheese and cold cuts platter. Oh, it's got some fish too. Mmm. Is this what I think it is? Parmesan cheese. Let's get this big piece right here. Look at the size of that Parmesan cheese. Oh. <laughs> That's so bitter. We'll try some of this Nama ham, otherwise known as cured ham. It's very dry. We've got some fish here too. Let's try this out. Saba with the vinegar. That's good. I like that. Let's try this other cheese and give this another try. Prosciutto ham, I believe it is. Chewy, chewy, chewy. Nice flavor. But these go good together. This and this. The Parmesan cheese is just, it's so sharp. It's got a very rich taste, Parmesan cheese. It's sliced a little bit too thick, I think. It's nicer if it's thinner, I think. It's overpowering, it's really salty. But I still like to eat it. Something about Parmesan cheese. Looks like you got some dried fruits here, some raisins, some figs. We'll try the fig. These are popular in Japan. The raisins on the vine. Mm -hmm. They're different from raisins off the vine. Yeah, definitely. They're more fresh. They taste more like grapes. Wow, these are good. Raisins on the vine. This is the mixed fried foods plate. It's looking pretty good. Start with the shrimp. Got tartar sauce and ketchup to dip it in. Seafood goes with tartar sauce, huh? Try that. Not bad. This, I believe, is chicken. Try the chicken with the ketchup. Mm. It's got some interesting spices. Chicken breast. Look at the size of this onion ring right here. Oh, that's masterful. Onion ring and tartar sauce. Do we go there? Oh, that's the real deal. The real deal, eating onion rings with chopsticks. Who does that? It's a good onion ring, because it's got a giant onion inside there. Look at the size of that onion. That's a winner. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't need any sauce. Onion rings are hit and miss in Japan, but these these are winner. Mm-hmm. And this, they look like egg rolls, but I believe it's cheese. Yeah, cheese. Cheese and ketchup. It's common bird cheese. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a very crunchy sort of wrap. Soft there on the inside, but very crispy. Look how crispy that is. It fell apart on the outside. Should we try it with tartar sauce? Yeah, we should. This tartar sauce is amazing. Mm. Oh, cheesy goodness. We've got the seafood grill here. This is squid and then awabi or abalone right there shrimp here and then there's some asparagus some onion and looks like zucchini and maybe a red pepper should we hit it with the lemon sure let's do that the most exotic expensive item is definitely the abalone so we'll do this last let's start with the shrimp and this is in a butter garlic sauce it looks like mm-hmm garlic on top butter on the bottom there Oh yeah, summer barbecue foods. Mmm. Oh, that's meaty. Good stuff. I can taste the barbecue flavor. So we tried the squid. Look at the size of this squid. Rarely is it served like this, so thick, meat-like, like steak squid. Oh yeah, definitely it's been grilled. Look at that. Buttery squid. Whoa. Mm -mm. Oh boy. Wow, surprisingly soft. Amazing. Not chewy at all. I don't think I've ever had squid this soft. Wow. Fabulous. Good taste. Try some of these red bell peppers. Zucchini. Mmm. Oh, buttery. We'll try the onion and the asparagus together. Chewy, chewy, chewy. <laughs> this is typically how the ika is, or the squid. All right, and what I've really been looking forward to here is the awabi, or abalone. You can see the beautiful shell. Barbecued abalone. Oh, this is a delicacy. Yes. Just the right amount of chewiness. Full of flavor. A tiny bit of crunch. This is really nice. Soaked in butter. Oh, abalone, this is fabulous. I'm not worthy. Fabulous, barbecue seafood is winner. This here is a one pound ribeye steak. Oh, look at that, goodness. It's cooked medium on this side. It's well done over here. I like the medium. Look at that juicy, tender goodness. Into the sauce we go. Oh, that's looking fabulous. It's a bit on the tough side, but good flavor. Let's try some fat. It's the nice thing about rib is you get some fat in some pieces. Different grades of toughness, different grades of softness. Oh, man. That piece was lovely, much softer. Yeah. Lots of different grades of tenderness here. Look at that. You can go totally fatty here. Half fat, half meat. That's where you gotta go, right there. And this sauce is, oh boy. Smoky, tangy. The right stuff. Wow. I don't eat steak very often, so when I do, it's a treat. Yes. Should we try some of the well done? Let's try some of the well done. Oh, that's good too. Hmm. I think the well done might be better. There's more flavor here. I think the magic is in the sauce right here. This piece is a bit more chewy. So I guess the tenderness is all mixed through here. But for a pound of steak, that's pretty fabulous. 
it's time for the sausage platter. There's three different types here. Looks like the standard here, and then these are herbal sausages, and then these spicy perhaps? Let's give it a go. Oh, it's good, it's pork sausage. Let's go again with hot mustard. Mm-hmm. Nice. Adds a bit of kick. Japanese mustard is very hot, be careful. Don't use too much. Okay, try the herbal one. Meaning it's got spices in it. It's got herbs inside. Wow. This one's very juicy. Another pork sausage. They're, they're both really good. This one can definitely use some of this too. Spice it up. These are some really good sausages. Wow. I haven't had sausages like this in a long time. And this, I think it's gonna be spicy already. Go double spice. Yeah, typically one of the sausages is gonna be spicy. A little bit of heat. I think I like the other two better. Just more flavor with these two. We have some of the garnish too. We eat our vegetables. a nice dish right there. The final dish is going to be a yakisoba or fried noodles dish. It's got some uh, beef or pork hormones on top, I'm not sure. And this is some pickled ginger right there. Yep, in case these don't taste that well. <laughs> We've got some long onions there. Lots of sauce cooked into those noodles. I don't know, I'm a little skeptical with about the hormones here. Internal organs. I guess if we eat it with the noodles and some of the pickled ginger, we should be all right. There we go. Get it all together. Oh my. Oh gosh. This is the chewiest stuff on the planet right here. Oh. You chew it and chew it and chew it. It doesn't break down. Oh. Chew, chew, chew. Swallow. Oh, that was punishing. I'm gonna put this back. <laughs> Let's try just the noodles. Ugh. The noodles are full of flavor. Japanese love these hormones, these intestinal meats. I don't get it. I don't get it. So now it is time to rate this meal the beer garden in Tokyo, top of the building in summertime. It does feel like a garden. There's a lot of greenery around here. There's a somewhat festive atmosphere, although due to the virus, you don't have people hardy and wildly like you normally would. It's definitely way more quiet than it typically would be. So on my rating scale between one and six Eric heads, I think I'm gonna go five on this one, five out of six. A beer garden is a nice place to come in the summertime. Relaxing, it's cool, it's fun, and good eats too. So thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. See you next time. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some. <laughs>